Hi guys, here I'm going to show you some tips for printing. And these should save you a lot of time because they're little tiny things that are really kind of annoying to have to adjust and figure out. So let's go from the dashboard to the report. This is from my full VBA course. And the goal of the report tab is to have something that looks nice when it is printed, either saved as a PDF or printed as an actual piece of paper from a printer. And right now everything looks pretty much how I want it to look and it seems like it's going to fit on one page. We can even see the little dotted lines right here. But does it? Now I can go to the print window back and forth all the time, but it takes a long time to do this. And if I do this though, I'm going to notice that there are actually four pages. So I have messed up. But don't go to the print preview window like that unless you really have to. Go to the view tab and then look at page break preview. I'm a bit zoomed out here. Let me zoom in. This will give you an indication as to whether or not you are actually going to have one or two pages or three or four. And you can see little page three over here. And if I go down a page four. But what I think is even more helpful to do this very quickly is actually to go to page layout. So view page layout. And then just zoom back really far. And everything that doesn't say click to add data is going to be a printed page. So we see that we have an issue. All right, so that's one tip. See if you have an issue or not. Now that you've identified the issue, let us go ahead and fix it. I'm going to go back to the normal view. It's much easier to work with. And let's go to the Page Layout tab. Now what you have here in Page Setup and Scale to Fit are really amazing options for helping you with printing. So go here and play around with this. One of the tips I'm going to show you here that's so, so helpful for what we're doing is Print Area. So there is a little bit of my page that's going to go for pages three and four, but do I really care about the little tiny edge over there, the little bit of gray, the little bit of the edge of these charts? No, absolutely not. So let's go for set print area. What you do for that is just select everything that you want to be printed. And there we go. Then print area, set print area. Now we can go back to view and page break preview. And notice there's no page three or four at the end there. And if I hit control P, we only have page one of two. And then here's two of two. The next thing I want to do is to get the page breaks looking better because this guy right here, category sales spans two pages, and that doesn't look very good. So go to a view normal page layout, and let's go below chart two. There you are. And just select across and go to breaks, insert page break. Control P to verify our final product. Here's page one, no header cut off there, and page two, perfect. Now these little tips are really suited for, well, exactly what I did here, trying to make it fit on a certain number of pages. And this works well when you have one column of data like this. But like I said, there are many, many, many things that you can do. Go here to page setup and play around with it and scale to fit and use the different view options, page break preview and page layout to save yourself some time when getting everything ready for printing.